trying out Ning, Ning sites, um, the advantage for, for Ning is that students can manage most of the content on their own. And the graduation projects, if you look at that, there's 150 students graduating this year. So if you tried to use other types of websites, I think it would be, it would be too much. Um, the maintenance would be too heavy for whoever is administrating uh, the administrator of that site. Once a person is a member of a Ning site, they can post a variety of things. They can post pictures, they can post music, video, they can initiate blog discussions with other people within the site. Um, and I, I get an email every time something happens, so I get to look, make sure it's okay, the right language, all that sort of thing, uh, and then hit approve, and that's it. So it's easy to manage. Key thing, we want to set up parameters, but then set the kids loose on this and let their creativity uh, take over. Um, one student, I, I saw her in the library during non-class time, blogging with a student in Somaliland. And isn't that what we're hoping comes out of this whole process? Um, so let me, I guess, step back and, and explain the two, the two principal Ning sites that I'm managing this year. One is the graduation projects. And we have everything in there from uh, the directions, the requirements, the due dates, to resources that might help students uh, in, in the actual research for their project or just to get ideas for the project. Um, and also some of the logistic pieces like their proposal. They post it themselves. You don't have to worry about, I lost the proposals or something. Where are they? They're on the Ning site. The entire world can see them. That's, I guess, the second part. In, in my opinion, transparency is a good thing, um, particularly managing 150 you know, um, seniors and postgrads. What are, what are they doing? Folks from the admissions office are part of this Ning site, as, as an example. Caroline Reich is on there. She's got lots of contacts. She can see. She can help. It just, I, I think it just frees up the whole process. Um, in the world history class, the AP World History, we are collaborating with Abasco Tech in Somaliland, the school that was started by Jonathan Starr, an alum class of 94, and he'll be coming as the Open Gates speaker um, in January. Part of the idea was to build some momentum around that by having the students get to know each other. Well, it's a little bit difficult to fly over to Africa every, uh, every other week or vice versa, uh, and then there's the time zone difference, so live feed and all that sort of wouldn't work. But the blog, the Ning uh, site, is proving to be perfect for this, in, in my opinion. Um, students are posting things, the general stuff, who am I, where did I grow up, why am I, what do I want to do in college, that sort of stuff. But then a few, a few students have posted um, them playing a musical instrument, so they get to share something else, their interest. Another student posted a video about the soccer uh, championship that he was in. Uh, another student posted a chemistry presentation that they did in another class. And, and at first they were asking me, should I be posting this? And I said, what, you don't think they do chemistry in Africa? You know, so part of this is to break down the walls in terms of looking at another culture and, and realizing these are 15, 16 year old kids, just like you are, and uh, thinking about some of the same things. Uh, some of the students from Somaliland have mentioned movies, and of course they're all American movies that they're mentioning. So, I, I think it's, um, if you want to talk about real world, reaching out, global, all, and then collaborative tools, real world tools, all the language we've been using about uh, the curriculum, here's one way to do it. Um, there's other ways. And you have to do it in a variety of ways, but this is something that's, despite people's fear of it, it's not that hard to manage once you get the hang of it. Um, and here's, I guess, the bonus. These kids love doing it this way. To them, this is exciting. To them, this is normal. I don't know where the age cutoff is, but at some, <laughs> from 20 on down, this is normal, or something like that. Um, so, that taken all together you can't beat it.